Okay guys, I just got home. This always makes me nervous like when I've been away. I want to see if the Amazon's okay. I get scared to look. in a little tiny cage. Nothing tiny, but just something where you can't get around so much and uh, it'll be safe and quiet in there so you can rest. He needs to rest. Me and him have come a long way. We've come a long way. Yeah, we did today. Yeah. Yeah. Wings. Can you do wings? You look better already, baby. I'm gonna get you situated, okay? Um, as far as looking for Zoner, it's been posted on Parrots 911. I, of course, passed on his picture and information to Sheen. I just noticed something about him. And all the moderators are looking for his home. So, somebody commented on one of my things saying, Oh, Marlene, like, we're not all that fortunate that we have so many people looking for their bird. I just want you guys to know if I ever see birds on Craigslist or even if you guys post lost birds on Parrot Station, I literally go to your town on Craigslist and start looking for your bird. And we have such a good community that like there's going to be a ton of people now looking for this bird's owner. So yeah, I did build up a big community and yeah, this has been beneficial for me looking for Picasso. It doesn't mean we're not a community that can't all help each other all the time. Okay, you're cute. Okay, you cute. Okay, I want this cage to be in here. I just did a makeshift to carry on. I put some new paper, but I don't have anything for it to sit on. But I did see a neighbor leave a coffee table out this morning. Maybe it's something I could go get right now. I don't know. This is cool, but. I could not bring this in myself. Maybe I could. Gotta put the phone down. I literally got this thing all the way to here. This is like, you know, some stuff in the neighbor's yard that I'm getting because I need something to put this little cage on so he'll be alone in peace and quiet. The things I do for birds. So this is his situation right now. He kind of preferred to be on me. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Okay guys, let's see how the bird is doing today. Saturday morning. Hi mama. Looking pretty good. You're looking good. Looking well. Do you want your little mixture? I made you a nice mixture. Yes, I did. I made you your juice. What do you like? Okay. You want stretchy and I'll go get that for you? I'll go get you that. Yeah, I'll go get you. So let me go get that. Sandy wants to see the situation. No other animals can come in and disturb. Because why are there so many animals in here? Why are there so many animals? Drink the juice. It's okay. You are okay. Oh, he's gotten attached to the cage already. You want to try to give him some food? I want to try to get him this. Look, 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 look. We need to remove him from the cage. It's okay, gentle soul. It's okay, look. No? You think? No. Yeah, she's going to just eat up. Hold this. I got to get him his juice. Nope. Let's have some juice from here. Look. You drank this yesterday. You might want to put him back over here. It's not in the cage. Yeah, I think I have to remove him from where he likes that spot over there. Okay. Yeah, okay, come here. It's not biting though. But he feels a little light. 
So he's either a she. It's okay. Or you need a little something to eat. Let's sit here. Okay. Remember you like this spot. You're okay here. Show me like it. Hmm. Mm. It's a smaller. It's the same thing. No? Look, baby. I'm drink this. You know you're gonna drink this. Mm hmm Isn't that good? He's gonna take a break, then he's gonna down some. The day before it tasted more like coconut water, huh? I know, but this is still good. Look. First one I made, he downed it and liked it. Do you want some coconut water? Okay guys, I just got home. My birds are screaming their heads off. This always makes me nervous, like when I've been away. I wanna see if the Amazon's okay. Like, I get scared to look. Um, I've been keeping it dark in here. Okay. He's good. So I'm worried about him eating. Um, he ate an almond last night and it made him bleed a little. So I need to make sure, I'd been mashing up some fruits and stuff, but Lou is going to make sure that he eats and that his crop is full because Lou thinks his bleeding is basically through the inside of his nose. And um, so he's going to mix up some peanut butter, which I hope I have. So the main thing is that the bird is taken care of. When we get there, Lou's going to know if it's a wild bird or not. He is so educated on this stuff. He can literally tell you what hybrid comes from what breeder and where they originated and what area of the world different hybrids are even possible. So I'm gonna change my shirt. Uh, we'll go see what Lou has to say. I'm so happy the bird's like still in good condition. Lou thinks that it is a wild bird, but we're gonna find out when we get there. So follow me along on the journey of saving this bird. I wish I could find mine. So yeah, I may have acquired a wild In another turn of events, I have thought that one of the birds that I saw in a bird store here was actually Malibu. I mean, you never know, right? 